Guys, I am so sorry if you can hear what's going on above me. It sounds like they are bowling. Oh my goodness. I've said it before, my husband and my daughter are upstairs playing right now. I film in like our downstairs like spare bedroom. So I'm really sorry if you can hear that. I try to edit out as much as I can, but ugh. So I am feeling very glam today. I don't know how I feel. Actually, no, I do. Mm. I don't know how I feel. Like, I really do like this look, but there's just something. Maybe it's my hair. I don't know. There's just something about this look, but I do, I do really like it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a huge empties video. Um, I did one of these a while ago and I haven't done one in a pretty long time and I have plenty of stuff to talk about with you. Um, I'm really bad at empties videos. I think honestly, I know a lot of YouTubers are, is I have like my empties bin downstairs in my beauty room. And I just always forget to put stuff in there and half the time I end up throwing stuff out. So I need to be better about it, but I have, I do have enough stuff to talk about this time. So that is what we were doing. So before we actually start the video, I want to talk to you guys about a couple things. So some really exciting news, even though you guys probably aren't going to notice, but it's exciting for me. Um, I bought a new chair, a new office chair. So I have right now like one of our dining room chairs and I hate it, it's wicked and comfortable to film in and like the table that I sit at, like the heights don't match. So I bought an office chair, I know this really isn't exciting, but I'm pumped about it. It's just gonna be so much more, or so much more fun and better and more comfortable to film. So yay, I think it's gonna be in tomorrow. So the other thing is I bought a wig, which I'm also really excited about. I'm not gonna tell you what color, but I did buy a wig and I don't know why, I've just been really into wigs lately and I've never owned one but I did buy one. <laughs> and then the last kind of like little announcement that I have for you guys is next week. So today's Friday. This video will be going up on Friday. There will be a Monday video because I'm going to vlog tomorrow, but um, Thursday and Friday of next week, I honestly don't know if there's going to be videos for you guys. Um, I'm actually renovating my beauty room, which is the room that we are in right now. Um, you guys know from the start of my channel, I've always had like this backdrop behind me and I just really hate this space to be honest. Like this was the only space in the house that we had like the room for me to film. So that's kind of where I set up shop. But um, I will show you, not in this video, but I will show you like before and afters and stuff like that. But pretty much i just i hate this room it's a basement room like a spare bedroom in our lower level we have a split level but it's like the old like 70s paneling it's just it's not it's not the best obviously so i am going to be renovating it and by that i mean like completely redecorating um i'm also going to be painting and these the, this room needs a lot of work. I'm gonna prime and paint. I think there's some mold issues that we have to take care of as well. So um, that's gonna pretty much be my next week, like all next week. Um, so I don't know if there is going to be a video for you guys on Thursday and Friday. I did film a tutorial on this look or just like I filmed myself doing this look. So I might do a voiceover or something like that and upload it or this might just turn into an Instagram tutorial. I don't know yet, but please be patient for me or with me. <laughs> um, I am actually in like five minutes, I'm gonna have to like stop filming this video. In like five minutes, I am buying the new ColourPop palette, the Elements of Surprise. So I will be doing definitely a review on that palette. That'll probably be the next video you see at That'll probably be the next video you see after this one. So that's all the announcements I have today, guys. I know things are crazy, please bear with me, but I'm really excited to show you my new beauty room when I'm done and all my makeup organization. Ooh, so excited! So yeah, I don't know how to feel about this ponytail either. Okay guys, so let's jump into this video. Please consider subscribing if you like my channel. I would love to have you here. I know that I have a lot of new subscribers recently, so thank you so much and welcome to my little YouTube family. I hope you enjoy your time here. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and let's begin. So 
So the first thing right on top are these simple micellar makeup remover wipes. I have two of them. I have really been enjoying these. So I used to use the Neutrogena ones and I also really enjoyed those. I really had no complaints. Um, the Neutrogena ones, if it makes sense, they're a little bit more greasy, like a little bit more oily, you know, like they definitely leave a little bit of a film on your face. That never bothered me before because I always kind of like duo cleanse anyway. Like I never just like take my makeup off with a wipe and then go to bed. Like I always take my makeup off with a wipe, then I wash my face, then I do my skincare. So I think there's... Yeah, I still have one left in here. <laughs> um, but I think Kathleen Lights, I think she was the one that recommended these, that she really, really enjoyed them. And she doesn't like the Neutrogena ones at all because of that film that they leave on your face. Um, so I tried these out and I really do like them. And they're definitely a repurchase. You can see I've already used them a couple times. So yeah, I, uh, I really like these. So I have mentioned these in um, one of my previous videos. I think it was um, the things I can't live without. I, I think it was that one. And it was pretty much just like quick ways to clean your brushes. So I have two things here. So I have the Sephora Cleansing Brush Wipes and these are awesome. Holy guacamole, these are awesome. Obviously you get them at Sephora. I don't have them, like I didn't repurchase because Sephora is just a little bit out of my way. but. Next time I go to Sephora, I will absolutely be buying these. They're kind of like a tissue, almost like, well, think of it like a remote, like a makeup wipe. Like they're a little bit wet, they're saturated. And you would just take your brush and you would just kind of swish your brush around on the wipe. And it just takes all the, um, all the pigment off, all the makeup off. And I believe that this does um, disinfect it. Perfect for on-the-go brush care. Brush care. This mild formula will remove most traces of makeup. So it's certainly not a deep cleanse for your makeup brushes, but it'll definitely get you by. So I just use this and then like wipe them off in like a, a towel afterward just to make sure that they're not wet at all. Um, but yeah, I really, really do enjoy this. Sticking in that same category, this is actually new to Ulta. I've never seen this. I believe they just came out with this. But this is the new Hue Shadow Switching Pan. And you can see mine's getting pretty yucky. You can kind of see like all, just all the shadow everywhere. And I did, don't worry, I'm not wasting it. <laughs> I did, <pick>, whoa, <laughs> did you see all the powder? Um, I did like switch this. You can take it out of the pan and switch it around. So this is just past its prime. But I also really enjoy this. Um, I believe Sephora does sell one as well. I just got the Ulta one, just like I said, because Ulta is quick, like closer to my house. So I really enjoy this too. This is just a really quick way. You just, like I said, take your brush and it's dry. It's not wet at all. And you just pat it around in there to take all the shadow off. So that way you can just, you know, move right on to the next one. So I really like this. I like a little tin. I actually do have a new one I did repurchase. It is sitting over there on the shelf. So I like this. Um, I don't know why I put this in here, I really don't, but these are what I use to put on my toner and it's just like the little cotton rounds. I don't know why I put this in here. Like I don't really think that you guys care about this, but I just think it's kind of silly to buy like designer brand cotton pads when the store brand is just as good. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be buying these. These are the CVS brand and I have no complaints. <laughs> So I have a dry shampoo. You guys know that I love this stuff. This is like my all time favorite dry shampoo at the moment. I actually have a new bottle right here. Um, so, but unfortunately I think that they changed this because I've been using this for six months now, maybe a little bit longer. And it never gave me like the white, like skunk stripe, like most dry shampoos do. And the new bottle actually did. It gave me like a clear white skunk trip. So that's depressing, but I'm still gonna use it. I really don't have any issues with it. Um, and I just, I really, really enjoy this. I get a ton of volume from it. It's really cheap. I get mine at Target. I think it's like five or six bucks. It's just, oh, it's so good. I love it. I definitely recommend this for a dry shampoo. For um, a hair conditioner, you guys know if you watched my last empties that I used to use the Shea Moisture Omega, I think it's like three, three, six, and nine hair mask or something like that. And I think that they discontinued it. I checked online, or I'm sorry, I haven't checked online. Um, I actually have it. I was going to talk about it, but I'll talk about it right now. 
Um, I have it right here. This is an empties as well. I finished this and I think that they discontinued this or like I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it at Target. I can't find it at Ulta. So you guys know I love this so, so much. Like I want to repurchase this so badly. <laughs> But I bought this instead. This is the 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydration conditioner with coconut milk and something, something that I cannot pronounce. It's right here. Um, and I do like it. It just wasn't enough for me. Like it just wasn't enough hydration. It just, it just wasn't enough. Um, I think that if you don't have really processed hair, like you don't use a lot of heat on it, it's not chemically processed, I think this would do really well for you because it just, just my hair needed more, if that makes sense. So I, it's not a bad product, but it's just not for me. Um, and then just very quickly, I've talked about this in my last empties. Um, I did repurchase it since then. I have run out and I can't find it. So if you guys know like where I can find this, please, please message me, please let me know because I can't find this anywhere. Um, and, but shame on me because like I said, I haven't checked their website. So the last, I believe that's like the last hair care thing that I have is actually something that I got in my um, birch box. If you watch that video, which was I believe a week ago, I got this beauty protector, protect and detangler leave in conditioner and I talked about it in my birch box. So if you haven't seen that, that's a good, that's a good video. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so the full size of this retails for 23 bucks, so it's definitely a little bit pricey. I just got the, the mini size, and there's still a little bit left in, but not a ton. Um, you guys, again, if you watched my Get Ready With Me, which was last week's video, I used this when I was doing my hair, and I completely, 100%, like totally, oh my god, holy guacamole fell in love with this conditioner it's so so good but it's uh, really expensive so i'm still on the fence if i'm gonna buy it or not but it's so so good i don't even know what the ingredients are because they don't list it on the bottle and i didn't check online but this made my hair so 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 soft without weighing it down and without making it greasy and i have used a lot of leave-in conditioners i've used um, all pretty much all the drugstore ones I've used it's a 10 um, which is a pretty not, I mean they're they're definitely expensive I think that one's also in the 20s for the spray and the leave-in one um, but they all really weigh my hair down and kind of make it you know pretty greasy um, but this did not do that and I just I completely fell in love with this so if I can scrape together the money, uh, <laughs> I am absolutely going to be repurchasing this because this is by far the best leave-in conditioner I have ever used. Um, so I have a couple things for nails, actually. My Kiss nails, I'm, I'm not going to talk about these. I have talked about these in so many, so many of my videos. <laughs> um, they're the nails that I am wearing now. This is an older box. I'm actually wearing the new ones that just got released a couple weeks ago or maybe about a month ago where you can paint, put polish on them. Um, if you've been watching my videos, the past couple videos where I had like that mauve color on, um, like that mauve color on my nails, those were Kiss nails that I painted. And these nails, these are good. These acrylic with the French tips. But the new ones that came out that you can put polish on them and they say it right on the box. You can wear them natural, which is how they are now. Or you can put polish on them. Those last so long. I think I had those mauve ones on for over two weeks and they're freaking drugstore nails. Like what? So, so I'm not going to talk about these much longer because I've talked about them a hundred times. It sounds like I'm an infomercial. If you guys definitely want to check out Kiss Nails, please do. I 100% recommend them. Um, and then just for a nail polish remover, I use Pretty Nails, the instant polish remover. This is like the little sponge one that you like dip your finger in and it comes with this little kind of sponge thing if you want to use it, like if you don't want to dip your finger in. Um, but it's just, it's past its prime. I've been using this for a while, so it's just kind of yucky and dirty. So I'm just gonna buy a new one. But I really do enjoy this nail polish remover. It's pretty cheap and I would check it out. So I wanna talk about a face mask next. This is the Yes to Tomatoes Detoxifying Charcoal Mud Mask. They do not sell this in a tube. This is only in like the little individual packages. And I believe these retail for three bucks a piece. And I have never been more angry at a brand for not selling a mask in a tube form. <laughs> I love this mask so, so much. I think it because it has the silicilic, 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 
silicic silicic acid in it. <laughs> it's just it's such a good mask, guys. Like it really does detox your pores. It definitely makes them a little bit smaller. Um, it's not like the super miracle mask, but it's just for such a good price. Like I'm just I'm all about it and. If for whatever reason, if someone from Yes To the company is watching this video, please consider selling this in a tube. I would buy like a hundred of them. I love this mask so, 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 so much. So really the only things we have left are makeup related and I, I have quite, quite a few. So let's see here. really quick these are the shadow shields I am out of them and I have not repurchased them just because recently I've been kind of doing the thing where I just like clean up with a makeup wipe after rather than putting the shadow shields on I have absolutely nothing bad to say about these and I think that they are amazing for beginners or really even you know someone as advanced um, I think that they're wonderful. I just haven't repurchased them just because I don't go to Walmart that often and I've just been using a makeup wipe to kind of clean up, but um, I do see myself repurchasing them in the future. I think you get, how many are these? You get 14 and I think they're $4.99 and I really, really do like these. So check them out um, if you need something to give you like a clean line, but you don't want to use scotch tape for whatever reason. These are the same thing as scotch tape. I don't, I just like gimmicky things, I guess. But yeah, you guys know I've used these a hundred times before on my channel and I really do like them. And for makeup, I have the NYX Pore Filler. You guys know that I have used this also a hundred times on my channel. And so far, this is, I really do like the Smashbox one. That one, I, I have that one as well. Um, but I find that the Smashbox one, Smashbox one kind of picks up on itself a little bit more. It kind of pills up if you try to kind of rub it in. This one does it too but not as badly. So the thing with these primers is because they're just pretty much all silicone, <laughs> if you try to rub them in, they'll start to pill and kind of pick up on, pick up on themselves. So just take it out of your finger and I kind of like pat it and rub it in very gently. I don't like swipe if that makes sense, but it's a full like $15 cheaper than the Smashbox one. I think the Smashbox one's what, $36 and this one's 15. Still pretty pricey for a drugstore primer, but I am totally on board and I absolutely love it. You guys know I use this in, well I do, I use this every time I do my makeup, pretty much. So, <laughs> love this. Next is a mascara. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I've had this for a long time and this is actually one of the first mascaras that I ever used on my channel. And it's such a good mascara. Oh my goodness, I actually have like the trial size version of it that um, I don't know where I got this. I don't know if I got it in a gift bag as a free gift. I can't remember, but I've used this in the beginning when I started my channel, I used this all the time. And it's just, you know, it's just past its prime. It's definitely starting to dry out. It's just kind of looking a little yucky. So it's time, time to go. So I'm not gonna repurchase this. I have like five or six other mascaras that I'm, you know, currently using and, and, and loving, but this one is a really good mascara. I really, really like it, guys. If you're an Urban Decay fan or you're just looking for something, I guess, a little bit more high-end, definitely recommend this mascara. I think it's lovely. So next is a Real Techniques sponge. I don't know if this is kind of normal to include these things in empties or kind of like beauty trash, but um, I really, really do like the Real Techniques sponge. This one you can see is very, very dirty. Um, I've just had it for a long time and I know that the general rule of thumb is that you should replace them every three months, no matter like how often you clean them to just throw the whole thing out in three months. So that's what I'm doing. This one is very well loved, but it's time to go. And I have to be honest with you, I am really loving the Equal Tools sponge, which is, I have it on my vanity or my desk here right now. And this one, I just used this to do my makeup today. And I gotta say, I'm, I really like the Eco Tools sponge better. I do. Um, I think I like them for different reasons though. So the Eco Tools sponge, holy guacamole, does this soak up product. Like, I can't believe the amount of foundation that I have to use when I am using this. But this is just so soft and so squishy, and it just. It's just, it's beautiful and it, it's just wonderful. I just love the Eco Tool sponges so, so much. Um, so the Real Techniques one doesn't, I find doesn't soak up as much product, but 
I just, I don't know, it's, it's just not as soft, it's not as like squishy. There's just something about it, you know, there's just something about it. It's not bad at all, and I think the Real Technique ones are a little bit less expensive, but not by much at all. So, yeah, definitely check it out. I think either Real Techniques or Eco Tools, they have their pros and cons to each. I think they're both wonderful beauty sponges. Just me, I'm not buying this one because I have been loving this. So, um, I don't want to end the video on kind of like a weird, like somber note. So I'm going to talk about this product first and then like wrap it up on a happy note. <laughs> um, so this is a makeup brush. I used to use this a lot in the beginning of my channel. This is an Estee Lauder makeup brush and it's for, um, it, well, it's pretty small. I used to use it for a blush, like just sweep it on, but it's a pretty small makeup brush. Um, and the reason that I just am kind of weird by this brush is this actually used to be my mom's and I, um, for anybody that doesn't know, I lost my mom in 2013 to breast cancer. I did a whole tutorial on all pink for breast cancer. You can go ahead and check that out. It's, that tutorial meant so much to me. So in any case, this is my mom's makeup brush. She left me a few Estee Lauder makeup brushes. My mom was a very into expensive makeup. She was a hot shit. She loved expensive makeup. So she had a brush set by Real Te um, she had a brush set by Estee Lauder. I cleaned them all and I've been using them. So this one's definitely old. This one's probably going on like five or six years old, if not more than that. And it's just it's just time, you know, there's I'm losing a lot of bristles. Um, it's it's shedding a lot and it's coming apart. Now I know I could just like re-glue this if I wanted to, but Given that the bristles, the bristles are falling out, it's just, you know, it's just time. It's just time to go. Um, but this makeup brush, like, really means something to me. And, and I'm not going to lie, I might just keep it as, like, a souvenir and not use it anymore. You know, I might just kind of keep it, I don't know, like, on my shelves or on my vanity or something like that. Just to always kind of remind me of Mama. But in any case, I really do enjoy uh, Estee Lauder makeup brushes. I have their bronzer brush right here. This is part of the set. The bronzer brush, or just this big, like, fluffy brush. I guess I use it for bronzer. Um, this one's holding up really well. I've used these two, like, forever on my channel. But this one, it's just time. It's just time to go. So, um, if you're looking for high-end brushes, definitely check out Estee Lauder because I have absolutely enjoyed them. So then to kind of end it on, you know, I just didn't want to end the video on that kind of note, but <laughs> to end it on a better note, um, the foundation that I am out of is the Maybelline Better Skin. I'm not going to talk a ton about this foundation. I have talked about this foundation a hundred times in my channel. I love this foundation. It is easily like top two or three drugstore foundations. It's awesome. It's great. It, I have. I'm really oily in the center of my face, but pretty dry around the perimeter of my face. This just stays on my skin so long, but it doesn't feel bad in the dry parts. It's just, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing drugstore foundation. Um, but oddly enough, I have not repurchased it because, just very quickly, I have been loving, uh, oh my god, loving this foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. It's an airbrush finish. It is the foundation that I'm wearing today. Oh, honey. I love this foundation as well. Like these two are like my top. Like for me, these are better than the Wet n Wild Photo Focus that everybody and their mom loves so much. But these are just, oh, I love them. Not that expensive. This one's a little bit more. I think this one's 12 bucks, 11 or 12. This one's $8. So in any case, I definitely will be repurchasing this at some point because I do love this foundation so much. This foundation is pretty much, or was, until I found this new one, was kind of like my go-to for like every day. There's just like, whenever I needed a good foundation that I knew was going to look good on my skin, this was it. I just, I love this foundation. So good for drugstore. Ugh. So anyway guys, that wraps up this empties video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, next week's gonna be a little weird. Um, I, I truly don't know what the schedule is gonna be next week. I will keep you updated. Make sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter because that's where I'll be posting any updates. But um, yeah, I don't know what the schedule is gonna be like. I'm gonna try my hardest to get this room done quickly. 
but who knows you always run into issues so please be patient with me I will always keep you updated I'm still gonna be posting on Instagram very regularly but um, and there's still there's still maybe a video Thursday or Friday next week or there may not be any I don't I don't know until I kind of get started but thank you for being patient with me I'm so excited to kind of like come back with like a new beauty room and just oh I'm just so excited I'm so excited so if you did like this video give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing before I head out of here and I will see you next time bye guys